In this video tutorial, I want to share with you how to use Google Hangouts. Okay, Google Hangouts is good for you to make video calls and chats with your colleagues, with your friends, with your family, with your students. You can easily make this with Google Hangout. It's a completely free and Google has made it even available for Android, for App Store and even for Chrome. You can have it as an extension on your Chrome and anytime you will just be able to synchronize between devices and you can work perfectly with it. So Hangout lets you video call or message the people that you love. So to start with, all you need to do is to come to your browser, open your Chrome browser and then come to hangouts.google.com. There are actually two ways, two methods to open Hangouts. The first one is to come to the website over here and just click on it and it will bring you over here to Hangout. Another way is you can come to this uh, drop down, this, uh, this icon once you are on your Google menu. You can see it over here. You can scroll down and you should have Hangouts over here, right? So once you click on Google Hangouts, it's going to bring you to the same place. So once you're in, you have to sign in with your Google account. If you have one, you just go ahead and sign. If you don't have one, it's free to create a Google account. So you can just create yours and just get started. I've just signed in. I've logged in into my Google account and you can see I've got some conversations and over here to the top left, I have these three lines. Once I click on this, you have these uh, different icons. You can add contacts. You can check out your contacts and you can check out all your conversations. You can invite people with either a link or you can just send them an invite with their email address or their name there within your email. Um, uh, address as well. So you have the applications like I've just explained. You can download and share and work with it directly on these devices. And you've got the settings over here, which is very basic. You need to just check. There are some few things you need to pay attention to. For example, you can show when you are last active, or you can unshow that if you don't want people to know uh, when you are last active and where when you are seen. And you can show which device you are on. Is it a phone? Is it a tablet? Or is it a computer? You can show all this. And in terms of not notification, you can check out through all this and check out archived hangouts if you have archived some messages. And you don't want people to see blocked people you should be able to see them over here invites you you can see the people that you've invited the hidden contacts the customized uh, invite settings you can do all this within this very feature there are so many things to check around so feel free to just come in and just check it out for yourself so within these three st still same same three lines you can still come to google and just get the extension and just have it so in order for you to get the extension you can just come to this from here, you can just click on this uh, Chrome extension and it's going to get you over here. So you can just come over here and just click on add to Chrome because I've just added mine. So you will not be able to see it, but then uh, you can really click on your own to add to Chrome. So it becomes an extension added to Chrome and at any given point you want to visit Google Hangouts, you can just come to your extension over here. Just click on list of extensions and you will be able to see Hangouts directly. Or you can come to manage extension in case you don't see it clearly you'll see all the extensions that you have and you can see hangout over here and you have the option to enable or disable it you can enable it in the list of uh, extensions that you have or disable it or at some point you can remove it completely if you don't want and you can have the de che check out the details as well so this is basically how to check out google hangouts there are so many things the help decks and many more and then you have the the chat. You can create a conversation. You can start a conversation by searching for someone's email. You can search for his email. Uh, you can search for his phone number, or you can put his name in cases when you have all this uh, domicile within, within your Gmail account. So you can just search by name, by phone number, or by email. You just bring it, bring that person. For example, you can just search uh, Abdurashid. Once you start searching, you do just pop up within your contact that you have all uh, so many people. Okay, so you can check them as most of them are on Google. You can easily add them and you can start conversing with them directly. Another thing is you can create groups. You can just click on here to create a group entire uh, email to, of the people you want to invite. For example, I can see I can invite this guy and I can add as many people as I want. Okay, so you can see I can just add them. Invitation sent and okay, this one invitation sent and 
we can just add them okay you can just add as many as you want okay you can invite okay so once you have uh, as many people as you want you can just hit on this uh, green icon to just enable it now you are loading the group with this much people that you've uh, added so you've got two people and you've got the group if if you want to change anything in the group you can come all the way here and change it you can click on this you can put in the name okay you can put in the name let's say getting together okay these notifications you can enable you can enable conversation history to check or joining by link you can enable this so if you have a link you can just share them you can generate the link from the group and then you can share with the people so you can see the link over here you can copy it and share with your friends so they can join directly you don't have to send them an invite from the app as well you can archive conversations and leave conversation the entire group if you want you can add some emojis a bunch of emojis that you can check around and maybe add according to your message so let's say hanging together and you can put some love sign over here okay so you can say okay to this and you can see getting together with this small emoji so you're free to start conversation directly from here and you can just start hi guys and just send and everyone in the group will be able to see just like the way you normally work or print on uh, your your whatsapp message okay so it's similar to that you can see all your conversation getting together and the other people you are conversing with you can see them directly so you can check out conversations from here and you can check out uh, these three dots to see the same information that we've seen your contacts and all that you'll be able to see everything so this is the most basic on what you can do with google hangout when you come over to any name or any contact that you've added you have the option to open the detail view of that particular contact so you can see it clearly or you can send an email directly or you can message directly or you can do video call or you can schedule an event with this very person directly you can do that very easily with google hangout everything is free of charge once you have a google account which is completely free you should be able to do all this so this is about how to use it you can always check on your phone on your google message to see the conversation out there about you receive the conversation on your google message you'll be able to have a conversation uh, you'll be able to see it for example let me check on mine so on your google message you'll be able to check on charts you can see it over here and you can see the list of charts that is going on within your, your within your google hangout okay and you're free to create a new chat also if you want from here and you start the chat immediately with whoever you want to start chatting with okay so this is basically how to use it on google you can see your status over here and it's the same status with people who always see you can change it from active to automatic to do not disturb or the other and they will see it on the hangout as well so this is about hangout on on the web you still can have google hangout on your phone and work with it okay so still on the same page you can uh, close on the group over here and you can start a chat with anybody for example this one and you can just click on it you have the option to start a video call if you want a video call or the normal chat you can chat from here or you can send him some media maybe you can send an image by coming clicking on this and you have the option to navigate around you can check within your phone or computer select a photo from your computer over here or you can come to auto backup if you have any backup somewhere that you want to send him any photo of your choice you can select this photo for example you can check photos over here and you see a range of photos that you have all your photos you can check albums and you can do video search from a number of videos that you have uh, also you can check from the albums and send album directly or you can check and send photos directly assuming i want to send this photo i can just select it and click on select and select it and i can just send it to him directly you can see very easily you can send to to him you can do you can chat directly you can um, pop out and we chat be able to chat directly just like independent of the main uh, browser you can chat for it uh, hang out uh, on your own directly okay you can bring in more people into the conversation as well and you can still pop in 
and still come back and continue within the browser and do your chat you have the range of other options over here to send different kind of emojis you can highlight and send any emoji of your choice okay depending on what your conversation is about you can select any emoji and you can send directly you have the option also to check on this gear icon to see other notifications flex like for example you can check out notification you can enable notification disable conversation history you can archive conversation or you can delete conversation or block that particular person from here okay you can block him from here so these are the various options that you have over here you can minimize you can close if you want and you can come to these three dots on any chart like i've explained you can pin you can hide the ads okay you can hide you can hide this particular person or you can pin it to the top or the about you can do all this so basically this is how to use google hangout on your desktop okay you can do the same on your mobile okay so just go to your app store and download it and install very easily and you can have all the features and work with it comfortably so ladies and gentlemen this is a bit about hangout and how to use it on your uh, desktop your computer or your browser feel free to try it on your own and let me know if you have any challenge if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos see you in my next video bye